Just say the word. Here's your look at the new Mattel Shazam the movie. This is Power Slingers Shazam. Yes, with the Power Slingers, each of the Shazam figures come with a corresponding character that you can pull and release. Shazam comes with the Power Slinger Wrath. I picked up Shazam over at Walmart. I was doing other thing. I was grocery shopping. I was hit the toy aisle, and sure enough, they had the new batch of Shazam figures. Sadly, none of the multiverse figures, as it usually goes with Canada stores, but at the very least, they had the standard release figures. And I don't know if I'm honestly going to want to pick up any more of these. I don't even know how many of them actually appear in the film. But nonetheless, I did want to get Shazam. Shazam stands at six inches exactly which in centimeters works out to be 15.3 centimeters tall. And as I had said at the beginning of this review, these figures are the Power Slingers. I don't know if specifically the figures are called Power Slingers or they come with Power Slingers. Either way, I'm probably going to say Power Slingers a couple more times. Uh, Shazam comes with Wrath. I don't know if they're all specifically the various different gods, but... Nonetheless, all the other figures do come with versions of these guys. And it's simply just a case. I mean, they're just rubbery pieces. You're just going to pull them back, ping, and you're going to shoot them across the room. I'm not going to ping, shoot mine across the room because I know it's going to end up somewhere, and it's probably likely going to be covered in cat hair. I mean, I guess for what it is, I mean, to me, in all honesty, these things are kind of the throwaways. But I guess if you wanted to throw something else into the mix... Because after all, accessories make no sense whatsoever. Lightning bolts or whatever else. You know, uh, at the very least, they do give you these. I mean, eh, I don't know. Ping! It's gone. Or is it right here? I'm, I'm going to put it over there. So, I, I don't know. I mean, they do come with them. I mean, I don't... I wouldn't be anxious to pick up every single one of these figures simply just because I could get myself a power slinger with it. I, I think they're just add-ons, personally speaking. The meal, the real meat and potatoes of it all, the real reasoning why I wanted to pick up this figure was primarily because I just wanted to get a Shazam figure. And unfortunately, Canadian stores, once again, did not have the multiverse version of Shazam. So I'm sort of, uh, in the meantime, just tying myself over until the film comes out by getting uh, the, some of the retail basic released figures. So what do you get for a basic released Shazam figure? If you've managed to pick up a Batman v Superman or the Justice League Mattel figures, it's basically on par to those. I mean, they're, they have some posability. I'll talk about, of course, that in a second. But uh, pretty much, like, they look the same. Sort of a stockier built figure. Uh, very big, large arms. In some cases, what seems to be very short-looking legs. But it's kind of like exactly the same carbon copy formula that they did with the Batman v Superman and subsequent, the Justice League line. The head sculpt isn't terrible. I mean, you know, for it being more geared towards a kid's line of figures, I can't imagine collectors... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I had something in my throat except for myself possibly I some people will probably pick these up but I clearly know that these are kind of a little bit more geared towards kids so you can sort of get a more simplified basic figure don't get me wrong he still has posability where it counts uh, except for the legs that would be a point of articulation that I personally would think would count but I know a lot of times with these companies they're releasing a kid line and they're releasing an adult multiverse line and they will, of course, trim where it needs to. They'll generally trim from the kid's line. So the head sculpt, like I said, is, isn't terrible. It's actually a little bit better than the Superman figure that we got from Batman v Superman, which sadly I don't have in front of me that I could do a comparison for. But feel free to go back and check my reviews. I pretty much have done like all the Batman v Superman and all the Just League basic figures. Check that out. Um, his Shazam costume is very colorful. Kind of looks like the colors of, like, cherry taffy. Now I'm wanting some candy. Uh, it has some golds and some yellows. The gold in the belt seems a little on the dark side, but then when you compare it to, for example, the coloring of his gauntlet, it's about the same color. 
the Shazam Lightning Bolt is featured on the front, which, I don't know, I'm going to come clean about something here. I'm sort of bothered, and every time I look at it, it bothers me more, that the Lightning Bolt forms out into a point. But then the border, the border section that goes around the Lightning Bolt, gets cut off flat. I would have liked if that was also a point. I mean, every time I look at every time I look at a poster or a movie trailer, and I see the costume that he wears, it just drives me bananas that it cuts right flat at the bottom. I'm probably the only person that thinks that. The little medallions that it basically attaches attaches his cape to his torso, uh, unfortunately, get forfeited any bit of sculpting. Instead, it's just painted in place. I mean, the coloring is pretty clean, and the paint, I should say, is rather clean. Even like the gold, which normally would be a messy point, or yellow would be certainly a messy point. Seems overall pretty finished. There's a few little hiccups, but nothing significant, no. Great texturing that they put also in the costume. Carried over to a costume, I think, was about a million dollar price point to produce the suits in the film. That's That takes a good chunk whatever of course they're going to pay the actors and special effects but a million dollar suit i would imagine they probably have more than one of these great texturing again on the suit kind of various different uh, lines and kind of that mesh really gives me that that man of steel vibe when i'm looking at it he's a very muscular looking character likely i'm sure most of which was probably the suit itself giving him this muscular uh, bulking size that he has in the film Again, it's not a terrible looking figure. The uh, plastic in his cape a little bit softer. I've always like, been a big fan of the uh, Shazam cape, although it doesn't really cascade to the side. It's pinned to the front, uh, symmetrically actually in the front. Usually it's always kind of draped off to the side. At least some incarnations of Shazam has had it draping off to the side. Uh, there's not really a whole lot to say for the figure. Like I said, if you're into the market of collecting the basic class figures, these are certainly a much more cost-saving measure than the price point of like a $28 to $30 price point for like the, uh, the multiverse figures, which unfortunately I just couldn't find in stores. I mean, even like the face sculpt, be what it is, isn't terrible. Like the pupils, pupils are clean, like the eyebrows they painted in there as well. There's no real hiccups necessarily on the hairline or for the rest of the figure's paint job. So again, like I'm not really negatively critiquing the figure in a, in a bad way. It's just, again, it's a basic figure. So kids certainly will be jumping on board these, no doubt. I don't know if necessarily I will be picking up any more of these. I'd probably be more inclined to pick up these after I've seen the film. I don't really think there's any other of the Marvel family, the Shazam family, that make up the film. Again, maybe time will tell. We'll see when the film finally gets released. Maybe I'll go back and pick up more of these. Uh, in the meantime, it's posability for this Shazam figure. His head rotates all the way around, so it's not bad. Hinges up and down, and eh, not so much side to side. The arms hinge outward, and uh, you can rotate them all the way around. Bend at the elbow rotation in the forearm and rotation in the hand again you've got these really large gorilla sized arms that uh, again made their appearances in the batman v superman figures and then again and again in the justice league line as well he has a waist swivel uh, his legs would be the this would be an opportune time for me to be able to split the legs unfortunately i have to trim that part out of the review because well the figure doesn't have those it does have a swivel back and forth, however, a hinge at the knee, and to some extent, whether it be the way it was assembled or whether it was intentional, either way, he does also have a swivel in the boot. Going well for this figure in a positive way, the sculpt's not terrible. The likeness is pretty good for what it needs to be. Coloring is very vibrant. Still don't like the cut-off bottom of the uh, lightning bolt, but that's really only my own personal nitpicking for an otherwise decent rendition of Shazam, which is currently available right now in toy stores. I felt a bit bad that I was so harsh on Wrath, so for final looks I decided to bring him back. Power Slinger's Wrath, whether you consider it to be sort of a throw-in, an unnecessary add-on to a basic class figure, Personally, I would have really loved the lightning bolts as something that could have been included with the figure instead of a stretchable, stretch Armstrong style of character. 
but nonetheless, each one of these do come with a power slingers, good or bad. Uh, the figure as a whole, like I said, is a basic class figure, probably something I've repeated frequently in this review, but this is sort of the line that's geared towards the kiddies. Previously, leading up to the film and even after the film, kids are probably going to want to pick up Shazam figures, and this sort of fits that profile. There's, of course, those larger, as Mattel loves to do, there's also those taller, like 12 inch tall figures, 10 to 12 inch figures as well, which I did see and ultimately just didn't pick up. I will be maybe, maybe inclined, maybe inclined to go back and pick up the other figures, but really until I see the movie, I don't know if really any of them appear in the film in costumes. I don't even know if those characters appear in the film. So either way, uh, I did, my takeaway was that at least at the very least, I wanted to get myself a Shazam and leading up to eventually, hopefully being able to find the multiverse lineup of Shazam figures, this will tie me over until the film comes out. I've always been a big fan of Captain Marvel, or now as we call him Shazam, which of course jumps back and forth to what we want to call him in namesake. Most people usually think of Shazam before they think of Captain Marvel, but either way, no matter how you name him, let me know down below, guys, are you interested and excited to see the new Shazam movie when it finally hits theaters? I know I definitely will be in line, even if, again, I don't like the way the lightning bolt gets cut off. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop talking about the lightning bolt. I don't like the way it's cut off at completely flat at the bottom. Okay, now I'm not gonna say anything else more about it. Today we were having a look though at the Mattel Shazam movie figures. You can either call this the basic class of Shazam figures, or if you want, you can also call them power slingers. I don't know. It only listed them on the back as being power slingers, but again, that might be attached more so to Wrath and not necessarily Shazam himself. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to hit that little subscribe button, it's smaller than Wrath and it's just below this video. Make sure you do so, because certainly more videos will be coming your way. You don't want to be that guy. You know, the guy that people kind of talk behind your back, putting their hand up to their mouth so that they can whisper, but it's still loud enough you can hear what they're saying. They're like, that's the guy that didn't review, didn't subscribe to that review channel. And he's like, what, what? Nothing, nothing. Well, wait, why are we whispering about that? Don't be that person that hasn't subscribed yet to this channel. Uh, certainly more videos will be coming your way. You never know, we might actually do even some more Shazam figures. I don't know, maybe I'll pick up some more. But stay tuned, guys. More videos also will be coming your way, as always. Thanks for watching. See you next time.